Diabetes is a serious disease that causes abnormally high blood sugar levels because the body cannot make its own insulin. And insulin allows the body to take in glucose. It may be helpful to think of insulin as your body's temperature, like a feedback system. Diabetes affects more than 30 million Americans and 422 million people worldwide. However, blood sugar can be managed in a variety of ways. The most effective way is through diet, and by eating a healthy and balanced diet, blood sugar levels can become a lot easier to manage. Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm an intern for the Marion County Public Health Department, and by tuning in today, you have taken the initiative to learn about your health. Today's topic is going to be about diabetes. Today we're going to be learning about food and diet, and how this relates to diabetes and managing the condition. It's possible and most likely that you know someone with diabetes, but you may not exactly know what the condition is. So, to begin talking about diabetes, we're going to talk a little bit about insulin injections, about pumps, and what happens when blood sugar gets becomes too low or too high. So, insulin injections is one way that diabetics manage their blood sugar levels. You can inject it directly into the bloodstream, and that way you can regulate what, where your blood sugar level is at. Um, a lot of times, there's a pump that you can have that is directly connected to your body, and it pumps its own insulin and regulates its blood sugar by itself, which is actually a really cool invention. When blood sugar is too low, a lot of times people will have like a crash, which is where very low energy, and sometimes what you need to do is if you have a low blood sugar, something you can do for that person is give them a sip of Coca-Cola or suck on a hard candy, and that should bring their blood sugar right back up. So what does a healthy and balanced diet look like? Um, a great resource is this would be the MyPlate visual, and it shows that 50% of your daily um, food products should be half grains, um, some protein, some fat, dairy products, fruits and vegetables, all that good stuff. Um, food groups, some food groups directly impact blood sugar levels, so carbohydrates would be one of these because carbohydrates turn into sugars into our body and give us energy. A lot of times, um, we think of carbohydrates as being bad, but actually they're essential for our body. Complex carbs are a lot better um, instead of refined, bleached, or simple carbs. And you would find these in like whole grains and rice and stuff like that. Natural sugars are a lot better for you, especially for diabetics, than artificial sugars because they don't tend to spike blood pressure as much. That's why when someone's blood sugar is really low, it's a great idea to have them have some artificial sugar because it brings it straight up, just like, uh, like I said, Coca-Cola or hard candy. So how do you steer away from certain foods when you're managing diabetes? Um, eating too much sugar in one sitting can be very poor for your health, and too little sugar over a certain amount of time can be devastating to the body as well. So this sounds extremely complicated, making sure that your blood sugar levels stay constant, because when they do get out of whack, as they say, it gets a little bit, um, it can damage the body over time, can have impact on the kidneys and on the heart and other parts of the body that can become very serious. So the goal would be to eat consistently so that the blood sugar levels stay stable. This can keep our organs healthy and our overall health status much higher than it would have been. People usually mitigate the disease. Um, if you have type 2 um, diabetes, which is the one that you're not born with, it can be mitigated through, di um, through diet and exercise. And if you do this enough, you can actually go into remission, which means that the disease is almost non-present and you're healthier than you were. It's important to remember that sugars do not have to be completely cut out. It's actually very, very important to have sugar occasionally in order to maintain a healthy level of glucose or sugar in the body. So now we're gonna do an activity. Um, this activity is going to be online. So you would have to access uh, one of the links that I will send out. It is called um, Diabingo. It's actually pretty fun. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a leader and they're going to choose a question from one of the five categories on the link and they will give you questions. And there's also a bingo card available. And some of the questions are like, what happens when blood sugar is too low? And then you would stamp a bingo card if you have the answer for that question. And the leader encourages the players to yell at the right answer so that everybody in the group can learn the information. The players would place a marker on the correct answer on the Dia Bingo answer card. And when a player gets five in a row that line up straight or diagonally or horizontally, you can yell out Dia Bingo and the leader provides them a prize um, or just maybe a big round of applause. Okay, so after the activity, we're going to talk a little bit about um, a post-activity discussion, which is going to be 
What did you enjoy about this activity? Um, what do you feel that you learned from this lesson or the activity? And then I'm going to ask you a couple specific question, questions from the goals objective, which would be what foods um, should diabetics or pre-diabetics steer clear from? How can my plate help with portion sizes for specific proteins and carbohydrates and fruits and vegetables? And what happens when blood sugar is too low or too high? So today we've talked about the importance of food groups in maintaining good health. Diabetes is a very real and serious condition that can be mediated with a healthy diet and exercise. Each day for good health, we should eat a variety of foods from each group. Two groups we need to emphasize in our diets are fruits and vegetables. We should try to eat more of these foods every single day, and by eating more of these and utilizing portion control, you can lower your risk of diabetes, or if you already have diabetes, you can make it a little bit easier to manage. So along with this lesson is going to be a super fun recipe for those who may be diabetic, pre-diabetic, or just trying to eat a little bit healthier. It's a pineapple chicken recipe, and it is super easy, healthy, and delicious. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you at the next lesson.